Ross and I just awkwardly touched feet. Was it a touch or was it like a it, lifestyle choice? It, it was... I don't know, it almost became a lifestyle choice. Almost. Ew. Your feet are warm. Well, I was just outside where it was really nice and comfy out. And I was like falling asleep. Uh, like a weirdo. I'm getting all squeamish now. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Awkward Talk with Ross Boss and Dead. Weight. Ross Boss and Dead Weight and Weight Dead and Weight Dead. Three dead. So school's starting up soon. I did not enroll. <laughs> True. But for me, it's just like one of those things. Where it's just like, well, now I'm gonna lose all the time I've been blowing. I really have not been spending this time very fantastically over the summer. I've just been spending it sort of like a lazy laze. But at least I've gotten some stuff done. Oh, oh wait, shit. She's getting another Mystic card, I think. Oh, shit. Then what up? <laughs> wait, is she getting a Mystic card? Looks like she's getting Undini. Undini. Undini, help! This is where the second one was supposed to be, probably. Cyandine. Beloved Maiden of Cyandine. the Water Dragon. Alright, fair enough. Cyanide? Sure, let's go with that. Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't have to do anything. How come half the time it's you just gone. don't do, like, Bob Kiss? So hopefully that was the second one and not the third one. Because if it was the second one, then that means we never actually missed it. Hooray! <clears throat> Set. I'm not really sure what's uh, going on. I know, come on. I was just watching the nostalgia critic of um, Quest for Camelot. Mm. <laughs> That's random. <laughs> Explain, movie! Explain! It looks like they're explaining. They're shedding uh, exposition about all this. I, I know, just like... I really want to watch the actual movie now. The actual movie of Quest for Camelot? Yeah. It's not a terrible movie. It certainly has worse competitors. <laughs> They're competing for worse? Uh, I assume at least one movie has tried in the past. No. Uh, oh yeah, and then there was a... What was that? That's There's a really famous song that was covered by, what, Celine Dion in that oh, movie. Oh, The Prayer? Yeah, the, yeah, Our Prayer or whatever. Yeah, that was an awesome song. It came from that movie. <laughs> it came from that shit movie. It was a fantastic song. It was really funny. Either way, I got a new Mystic Art, and it is not Emerald Strike. It is, uh... Flux Form? No, I've already had Flux Form for a while. Yeah, that's the high-speed dash bullshit. Maybe I have to get it through a title. Uh, What's that thing with the pink ring on it? Yeah, Fearful Storm. I have to get it, so I actually have to unlock it. To one who is contracted with the spirit made in that person. Sapphire Squad. Sapphiring Squad? Oh, that's awesome! Sapphiring Squad. That's an awesome pun. Sapphiring Squad? I don't yeah, get it's it. like a firing squad, except it's a sapphire. Oh, Sapphiring Squad. Okay. Sapphiring Squad. That's a funny pun. You're a pun. I am a pun. Rostifer Slostifer, after all. Shit. Man, your brother had so many nicknames for me. I was also the pocket picker. The pocket picker? Do you remember that? Not really. Because we played basketball and always had my hands in my pockets. Oh. I'm Your brother okay. loved playing basketball at our hoop. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, like, that's... I don't know. He was weird. Well, I mean, it was right there, so whatever. I guess. It was like we were using it 24-7. God damn it. What's up with this, like, ladder up to the highest... Who gets... Look at that. Bitches need books. Yeah, but they're like floating in midair, attached Bitches to the walls. Bitches need books. How do you get to those book? Ow! When you're a bitch that needs books, you find a way. Okay, I guess I get you. I'm picking up what you're throwing down. This is really confusing though. Like, why there's so many ladders up to books when you could just have it all on the ground, but you don't. Also, getting down this ladder is a pain in the ass. I keep wanting to say stairs. You know, I have not seen too many ladders in my time in video games. Recently. Dude, I have to climb one every morning and every night. Do you? Oh, that's how I get into bed. Oh, that's true. So <laughs> I guess you're very used to my, my shitty childish bed. 
Well, at least it's a manly bed. Like, no, it, it's it trains pretty, you in the ways of being manly. It's pretty childish. It's childish, but it trains you in the ways of being manly. How? I have to climb Constant three steps. Climbing. Well, uh, getting out of bed in the morning is kind of a pain in the ass, but going to bed is like. Pfft. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> like imagine if you had your alarm clock underneath your bed, you'd be like, "Oh, oh my oh. god." That'd be hilarious. I would shit a brick. You just have it underneath just, your bed. I would vomit in anger. <laughs> you would vomit in anger. You know what the hell is the point of this place? Is this actually where we need to go? I don't know. Um, well, at least we got a mystic art here, so it wasn't entirely pointless, but there's not a whole lot to do. Head to the depth. Oh, oh wait a minute. I'm I think stupid. that might be a. Yeah. The giant circle in the middle of the room. You know. <clears throat> the one that clearly looks like an elevator. Oh, it's only just a little bit like an elevator. Only completely oh, wait, now it's a Wonka elevator. elevator. It is a Wonka elevator. Either that or it's the elevator from Abyss, just before the town explodes. Spoilers. Either way. Oh, shit. The fuck? Dude, this game has a fetish for bottomless pits or something. This is like the eighth we've seen so far. I know, what the hell? I mean, sure, we saw a lot in the Ganoongi Gap. And we also saw quite a couple in uh, quite a couple in Darius Carlon, but this is just a little, you know, overkill. So I guess technically the Earth Temple also had a bottomless pit. I don't it know. looks just like the machines a lot of people. we saw earlier. Oh yeah, and the Lightning <clears throat> Temple. That would that was a lot of bottomless pits. All right, you know, maybe just the Tales series in general has a fetish for them. Though then again, so does Mario. So I don't know. Can you really blame it if the like, Mario Man does it? Yeah, I guess. Oh, you know what that looks like? The way that just separated? Astounding. Do you remember fighting the wall uh, that gives you a shitload of mithril? In the, in the Toys in Valley Mine, right? Yeah. Yeah. It looked like those spinning things that heal it. Like, you know, those spinning fuckers? And also oh. the people that are with uh, uh, the the one renegade guy. Car Carell? Car Carl? That guy? The guy who killed Lloyd's mom? Kavar, Kavar. That, he's a design, not a, a design, not a not renegade. Yeah, yeah. So him. It also looked like the spinning fuckers who were surrounding Kavar. Oh, it's those things. That yeah, those so things. Old That's what I'm talking functions. about. That's what it looked that like. That was a spinning round. Maybe it was a reference. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it's being stupid. Confounded our brightest scientists. You know, I just gotta admit, Pascal is sort of like the trump card of this story. Anytime there's something they can't access. I know, you just, they get Pascal. Pretty fantastic. Or like, Regal in the last game. Hmm. It's like, oh, I'm the president, yeah, so I get everything. Poor Regal. What is it? Ooh. Eh. Is that Dalton or Dad? Oh, it is Dalton. Dalton! Dalton, go look at my magic deck. It's unfair and broken. Well, I found a route to Fodra. But I'm not Does sure Dalton play work. Magic the Gathering? Also, yes, he plays Magic the Gathering. Well, well I feel sorry for him. It's a fun-ass game. We need to find I don't want to play Magic the Gathering. One the day I'm going to get you to play it. It took like, everything I had in me just to learn how to play the Yu-Gi-Oh game, and then it went out of style. Well, it's still sort of in style. It's just like you probably wouldn't be competitive at it in the slightest. But apparently oh, not to mention the, all the math you have to keep going on in your Seems head like to play well, that game. Just piece where, get a piece of paper. I know, where like everyone just gets like notebooks. Yeah, it's, it took like two seconds. Hold on. What's the aqua Magic sphere? the Gathering is a little bit trickier. God I will admit. But mostly because there's just so much more shit to do. Like, it's not 8,000 life you have to go through, world. it's only 20. You only have 20 life in Magic. I remember Sam uh, got me into the Pokemon trading card game for a little while. How long ago was that? Uh, Less than a year ago. I mean, I, really? didn't, I didn't play it that long. Really? How come you guys but didn't tell me? I, I, I would have been all well, over that. It was only on the i. It was like the iPad story? version of it. Oh, okay. But w whatever, it was still like the same well, game. Yeah, it's it's Pokemon like Online. Somehow, I kept like kicking his ass. <laughs> I'm pretty. I'm pretty good at Pokemon. I mean, trading card games. Anything involving Pokemon, I'm good at. Except for Cross. Don't ask me to play Cross. How to play what? Pick Cross. What is that? It's basically a picture puzzle game. Oh. It's what really a, weird. What about Clefairy Says? You're pretty fuck, good at that fuck game. Fuck Clefairy Says. Fuck Simon Says in general. You remember the banana birds from Donkey Kong 3? I could not do that shit. Like, 
remembering the numbers. Like, I just watch people play, and I'm like, how the hell do you remember? Do, 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 do. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna go, do, do. <laughs> Fuck. Like, it just, it fails. Fairy. Fairy. I want fairy. 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 I want a remix of that theme. Du -du 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 -du. Hey. You know, every single game in that game I can play perfectly fine, except for Clefairy Says. Really? <laughs> Even the drowsy game, which I still don't understand to this day, you, you I can hit play. A when the yeah. pendulums touches the needle. But it's weird. Like, I can still at least get generally second in that game. Not Clefairy Says, though. No, Clefairy Says I blow. I know. It's weird with the drowsy game. You can't tell if you're doing well or not. It's really hard to tell if you're doing well. The Harding game, I'm god tier at. Lickitung game, I'm pretty good at. Magikarp, no one beats me at Magikarp. Oh, the Magikarp game. Where is it exactly? I have such good time with I'm the I'm pretty good with the the, uh, the Metapod and Kakuna game. That game is fun, though. That's probably, like, one of the best games. Uh, the, the Diglett, or no, not the Diglett one. Um, the Ekans one? No, the, that one I'm pretty bad at. Uh, I'm all right at the Ekans one. The uh, Sancher one I'm shit at. The, oh, the Dig game! The I dig forgot game. about the Dig game. I am game. shitty at that game. If you fuck up in the Dig game, you're pretty much screwed. Like, if you make one mistake, but if you're good at it, just the... I can't do that. I like I can't keep it up for that Let's long. For the oh, it's so much fun. I love that game. The uh, Rattata game, I'm okay at. The Rattata game. Yeah, I remember that being annoying. Were there any Pikachu games? Yeah, the oh, Pikachu yeah, and the Voltorb one. That oh, one where that you had the where you, you get to rapidly hit A or B. I remember you being a little bit better at that. I was good at it. I don't remember winning it that much, though. I remember getting my ass kicked a lot. Okay. I think it's because either the computers were really good at it or Dalton was really good at it. I, I don't remember. I think it was the computers. Yeah, the computers some reason, are the computers pretty hard were insanely game. fast when it came to tapping the controller. And I don't remember us fighting the hard computers too often either. Oh, Just God. There. The Lickitung game, like, once I figured out um, what to do in that game, I started like basically, it almost felt like I was cheating because everyone just started going licking all the plates. I just went for the hot food. It's hilarious. I know. Well, I remember when we were we were little. We were played that game. I had no idea what was going on. We just really like, just food. wanted to grab the spicy food, even though that was terrible. You weren't supposed to do that. You were supposed to grab the one that made you shine green, not the one that made you shine red. Oh, we yeah. just like to hear the Japanese voice actors go, oh, hey. <laughs> or we just like to see them freak out because they were burning their mouths. Yeah, it was really funny. Or um, head outside. Oh, remember so we missed the, that whole uh, cutscene. Apologies. Yeah. Remember the, uh, what was it, in Mario Party 2? They, they... <laughs> Which one? There's the game where you have to, uh, uh, rapidly just hit A as fast as you can. On the minecart? Or... Yeah, it was like that, yeah, it was like that minecart or that train thing, that hand-powered train thing. Yeah. That train. That shit. Oh my god. If you ever want to destroy your fingers, like, oh, yeah, every time that's I play that game, it's like, oh. Uh, I know, the whole, fuck, I hit yeah, again. the whole time you'll, you'll just hear people going, ah, ah. God, it just sounds like mean, vicious butt sex. I know. Very vicious. God. It was not a fun mini game. Oh my but god. But it was a fun mini game. It was, it was a fun mini game. The one mini game, though, that no one will ever beat me at in Mario Party 2 is the Penguin game. The Penguin I don't know why I was so good at that. Like, one versus three, the three players are supposed to have the advantage. I was god tier at that game. <laughs> no matter what side I'm on. God tier. The, uh, oh my god, with the, the train cart game, though. I remember you and I, we put an extreme computer teamed up with a with an unplugged controller so Sir, like or like just, just an afk controller just, you know basically it was a computer the by himself yeah teamed up i mean against us yeah, too yeah well i mean yeah he was playing against us too the two of us together could not be one computer who would be attacking that's how now? fucking hard they were do you remember fighting level nine falco in melee oh speaking of hard computers, my god we actually had to, like, sit on the bottom platform in Hyrule Temple and try to get him to jump off the cliff. That was the only way we could beat him. Oh, my God. I remember how annoying that was. Like, yeah. now, I, I bet we could beat him now, and I think we've tried before. But back then, I don't know why yes, Falco was so impossible to level 9 computer for us. Or, oh, yeah, himself. or when you had to fight the invisible Falco and Fox. <sighs> what? How annoying was that? 
No, the true horseshit value is Trophy Tussle 3. Oh! What's the current status That's of true horseshit right there in a nutshell. It's the Oh yeah, worst. and you get a Rossetti trophy for it. You get a Rossetti trophy. Or, no, 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 no you some bullshit you, you get, get for You get Rossetti. Majora's Mask. Oh, yeah, it was trophy. the Majora's Mask trophy. No, the Rossetti trophy was for beating, I think it was five what Was it five, five cruel men? Five cruel men in Cruel Man Melee. Oh, my God. I got you to do that for me. That was hilarious. <laughs> oh, yeah, totally worth my time. And we're forced you to were just to the so harbor. upset. But, you know, think about it from this respect. Rossetti didn't exist yet. Or at least if he did, he only existed in the Japanese N64 version of of animals, I, I think it was. It wasn't even Animal Crossing, it was just animals. So, yeah. I don't think Rossetti actually existed, so it said he didn't know where he was from. It was a reference, which was pretty cool. It's pretty cool they had a trophy Yeah, for Melee him. did that a, a lot, actually. Like, like they also had KK Slider. Uh, oh, yeah, and Roy uh, was in Melee before he was in his own game. Yeah, that was awesome. We it was a really People are like, nice who the hell is Roy? It's a really nice little advertisement. Who the hell is Marth at that point in time? We're like, who the fuck is this guy? He was the first Fire Emblem character. Yeah, exactly. but no one knew what Fire Emblem was until the seventh game Thank came God out. Thank God for Melee, then. I love that they gave me Fire Emblem. It was pretty sweet of them. And of course, we started from seven, which I'm actually pretty happy we started from seven and kind of never is got possible? six. Though at the same time, I think six would have been all right to have. Connected to six is so damn hard. Six is pretty hard. Assumption. But finding a it's cure tricky. for Sophie comes first. Definitely. So, what do you know about this seaside cavern we're headed to? When we used the cavern to infiltrate hmm. the Fendolian camp a while the back, Fendalian. we had to swim through a lot of flooded areas. I do remember that. Oh, yeah? Then I guess our clothes are gonna get wet. Yeah, once Sherry went through the first time. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be so young that mere memories make you blush. Captain, don't make fun of us. <laughs> I, I'm kind of curious. What happened? Was it a wet t-shirt party? Did well, it she was like a wet everything party. Did she forget to put her tampon in? It was probably that when she got all wet, it made the colors run on her shirt. And Maybe? it went from a nice red to a horrible black. And it was just like, it conflicted with her clothing style. Sure, okay, because that's something to just freak out about. Well, she is a girl, so yeah, they freak out. out. The they rave? freak out about. Something. And we're going to a rave. It's a ray. Oh, it's a ray. Damn it! I thought it was a rave. Out to all ray. Where are we going? An elephant rave. <laughs> 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 the elephant graveyard. Anyway, where's the rave? That's what I'm gonna call go it. Go to so. Al Ray. It's a person. We're going to Al Ray. Oh, go to. Oh, yeah. Al Ray is a city, actually. We were talking about uh, that. Uh, is it? Yes, it was. Actually, that person has a talk symbol. I don't know if it's a quest or if it's. I think it's important. a side quest. Well, let's do it anyway. Get our shit kicked in by Starfish. Some magic card. Ooh, hey, yes, we do. From the hero on front. Well, in this game, one person reads the first half of the quote, then the rest try to identify which card it's from. Oh, I'm pretty good at this. Sounds awesome. You have to try and sound like the hero who said it. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who any of these people are. He can handle it. I got this. This is gonna be hard. Alright, so it looks like Pascal's playing it. I only know like a couple of these characters. Malik is getting into this though. Here we go. Are you ready for this, Anne? Oh wow. Intend to. Intend to. Uh oh, do you have to pick two? Oh no, it's a CPU. I already have. Intend to. Already. That didn't even sound like Yuri. Alright. Lloyd Irving, wake up! Oh, I know who that is. Uh, Where's Rain? Where's Rain? Where's Rain? Wait, you got right there. Yeah, you got her. Lloyd Irving, wake up, bitch! All right, I'm good at this. You will always be my young master. Uh, uh, do you lose points for fucking up? I don't know. I will follow you no matter what. Damn it! I was gonna go for him. Glory to Fenderia. Uh, where's that's Flynn? I don't think it is Flynn. Fuck. And well, shit. The, the sword spoke. 
That's uh. The blonde dude on the. God damn! Fuck! How in the world can you speak? All right, I'm gonna. <laughs> I guess the goal is to we get to 100. We lost. God damn Pretty bad. Oh, man. And all the ones that we did know were not picked, except for... Yeah. Let's try that one again. Yep. So make sure you say it. All right. We're giving that one a, a better go. Oh, there's a versus mode to this. Oh, Too cool. bad we don't care. You will always be my young master. Uh, which one was that? That was this guy, right? Yeah. I will follow you, no matter what. <laughs> Pascal's quoting him. The voices of corpses buried beneath the trees. What the fuck? I have no idea who that the is. The voices of the corpses been buried, <laughs> buried beneath the trees. I don't know who that is. Creep up and lure. Estelle? What? That's just weird. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going. That's the black guy. What? It's not the Don't black guy. Don't you dare say it's Rita. A true ninja steals Suzu. her heart against such I think I, I should have gotten that actually. Intend to. Intend to. That's Yuri. I already have. I, it's difficult because you can't actually tell if it's a boy or a girl that's being quoted. Allow me to disengage my limiter. Uh, that is. Not Rita? Oh, oh that's, that's the black know, guy. It's Asbel reading the lines. Yeah. Hooray! Both times we never got Rita. How does Asbel know who these people are and pretend to do good, like, voice acting for them? We get a peach gel. What the? No, that's all there is. That was a waste of time. Alright, oh well. It was sort of fun, I guess. I figured it out a little bit after cheating. Some tells me that'd be a lot of fun if you had like a friend with you that knew all the Terrace characters and you just had to like go back and forth in the actual versus mode. But <clears throat> now what? We need to go to the rave. The old ray. It's not where it is. The rave the is the elephant rave! The rave is over there. According to the map. Where's Jimin? According to this evidence. Did you just do Phoenix right? Yes. Yes, you did. Did you do it from the from the one game? The one game. Yeah, the one where he's a fighter. Oh, uh, the what is it? Marvel vs. Capcom. Is it just Marvel vs. Capcom? It might be. Ult it's like Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom three or something. Yeah. Apparently, Phoenix was a broken character in that game. <laughs> what? But it was hilarious because he was hard as shit to use. Good old Phoenix. He was one of those like mystery tier characters. It's like no one knew like how good he really was. But then once well, that was back when the out. game was brand new. Right. Wasn't there also a really cheap ass robot in that game that was like impossible to fight? Oh, Sentinel. Yeah. And From the X-Men game. Yeah, it was like fucking impossible. It was like the worst character to oh ever be God. made. Is the mic? Yeah, the mic's good. Okay, sweet. Must you anyway, time to these guys for like three games. This maybe we can test out our uh, old time goal. I mean, you gotta wait till you have the title. Alright. What the hell? What? I'm not being back there. Being an asshole. I wish I could cast me ears. I can't really do that. I can't believe our baby Hubert got so strong. <clears throat> Please don't mention my past <laughs> in front of oh, everyone. What are you up to? Do you have work today? Oh, sweet. I'm gonna play magic you with you later. Yeah, I'm gonna play magic with you later, Dalton. I'm gonna kick what your butt. What was this? Oh, Saturday was my last night. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, Dalton's gonna go be a teacher, and he's gonna set the world somewhere. Set the world somewhere, alright. I don't know if he's gonna set it straight, but he's gonna do something with it. Cactuses! <laughs> Dalton's gonna set it slightly askew. What? <laughs> alright. Tales of Graces. Tales of is really difficult to say. Yes. Graces is a pretty hard word to say, considering you're not very religious. We're <laughs> 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 good, though. Is this where we're supposed to go? Yes, it is. I can tell by the map, actually. 
This map is very nice, unlike Tales 1. Where... I remember the first time we played Vespera, you just didn't know what the hell to do. I really didn't. You, like, you had no idea how to read the map. I really didn't. It's because I'm so used to Tales Symphonia, and literally what we did in there was we just went around and walked. And eventually we sort of found out what to do. Anyway, at least we're in this place, and we have to head back to the port, I guess. Alright, fair enough. Can we get new weapons? It's been a while since we had new weapons, hasn't it? It has. Well, these weapons are shit. All of them are shit. And you know what? There's not even a good weapon for a certain somebody with only knives. But at least they have peach gels and all this shit. And they have like bottles. Yeah, we are actually pretty much good on everything. Huh. Alright, well, that's not necessary. So it was an annoying effect, but it's not necessary to get all that shit. Hello, child. How are you doing today? Okay. Yes. Pedo Pascal here to say hello. Dude, if Pascal tried to take advantage of me, I would not be the slightest bit upset. Alright, fair enough. We already had that whole conversation last episode, so let's not. Do that that we did. I think you took, uh. Oh, right, right. I took Pascal and you took Rita, so. Oh, yeah. Again, I'm still willing to trade. I'm, I'm up for trade on that one. Trust me, Annie, you don't want to be going for a 15 year old at your age. At least with me, it's a little She's bit older now. Originating from worlds I true. Well, you keep using that excuse, don't we? <laughs> She's older now. She's older now, damn it. They just came. We tried to stand and fight, but we were terribly outnumbered. Oh, shit. Oh, I forgot. The ball's actually been traveling with us the whole time. Hey, he's like the president the or whatever. Yes, he is. He's El Presidente Regal. Had numerous reports God damn of attacks it. On... We should restrict sea travel at once. Indeed. Perhaps this is part of King Richard's plan, and he thinks to conquer the world with a fantastic army of monsters. Hmm. With a fantastic army of monsters, huh? With an absolutely fabulous. Oh, it's a spectacular army. army of monsters. Everything will go together fate. Famously <laughs> <laughs> large group of monsters. Then gather I don't know what this You are miles are away from any ships. rock or we stone. Unless this is in the movie, in which case it is literally two inches in front of your face. <laughs> Either way, it's President Paradine, who I think sounds like something from Star Wars. Palpatine, sir. maybe? Yes, sir. Uh, the Chancellor. So in other words, if this guy goes evil, I'm totally expecting it. Also, his chest is... If his chest was more inflated, he'd be like a fucking porcupine. Look at that. Look how much his chest is inflated. Oh, God. This isn't good. It's not even like lower body. It's all spare. just straight out. Boom. Got a little oomph there. Not to worry. I'll see that one of our I just, you just reminded me of like my favorite voice in any cartoon. It's, the, it's, it's that you, guy, Mr. the famously it, guy? It, it's, the, it's the warden on the... Uh, on, he has a really on the great prison voice. boat. Does he appear in anything Come else? When you're I to will find out. Look that up. I want to see if he's done anything else. I'm, I'm looking this shit up. Like if I find him somewhere along the road in like a dubbed anime, I'd be pretty happy. I'm not gonna lie, I'd be uh, I'd be a little bit happy. So we can't guarantee you're gonna have to give me a minute though. Are you ready to go? All right. So basically, we got a uh, one trip deal. Might as well go stay at the end. Oh, damn. Avatar The Last Airbender earned a 9.2 out of 10. Absolutely. That show did fantastically. It is a it did fantastic famously. show. It did famously. Famously, huh? It really did. Okay, so... People love that show. Hmm. Hmm. In prison? I mean, it would have been nice had it continued a little bit longer with, like, the fourth book. But I don't think people really mind that much. It worked for a while. <clears throat> it was a very smart children's show that everyone could enjoy. It was family. It was timeless. It was weird. George Takei. It was quite funny. It had, it had quite a lot going for it. It's generally a very loved show. Oh, what? Well, he's been in a lot of things, actually. Anything, anything interesting? Let's find out. Oh, boy. He's in a... Bojack Horseman. <laughs> Okay, I have no idea what that is. It's a, st it's a Netflix show. Okay. Uh, not even gonna mention that. Kung Fu Panda? What yeah. is he in Kung Fu Panda? Uh, Master Chang. Really? That's interesting. That's a very good Dreams or Do they have DreamWorks movie? Everyone loves it, actually. Well, I've I mean, watched it. 
Oh, that was just the TV show. It's not the actual oh, movie. Oh, okay. Well, it might be the same. <sighs> yeah, come yeah. on. Give me something that's actually worth mentioning. Continue with the game. I'll, I'll let you know when something well, I'm up. continuing with the game. It's cutscene island right now. Uh -huh. It's cutscene sailing, actually. And guess where we're back to. Military plans are protecting... Oh, I'm proceeding offshore. I don't see travel has been restricted. Okay. The other side of the sky. Hang in there, Sophie. I'm oh. okay. Hey, do you really think this Fodra place could exist on the other side of the sky? It certainly does sound like a fool's errand. Hmm. And yet it's an errand we have no choice but to undertake. The ancient Amarsians totally knew this day would come. That's why they left a method for us to reach Fodra. Cool. Yes. When you say that, it almost feels possible. Like it's our destiny. He plays yeah, himself a lot. All we can do at That's this point cool. is just believe in ourselves in movies? and move yeah. forward. They literally just has the same name. can sit around yep. and do nothing. So just hang in there, Sophie. Well, he has a great voice. Be okay. <laughs> ah, there's nothing like really worth mentioning though. Nothing very interesting. No. I'm like the slightest. Places himself in Futurama. Oh, well, there you go. What's his name again? George Decay. George it, Decay. I think he's a Star Trek character. Ah. Uh... That's pretty cool. Oh, so like in that episode where they go and they find like all the Star Trek people on the one planet and they yeah. find like the nerd. That was a funny episode. That was so That fun. was kind of worth mentioning. Oh, he's uh, the first ancestor in Mulan. He's like one of the ancestor ghosts. Mushu, that guy. Awaken, yeah, he's that guy. <laughs> Alright, well that's pretty cool. There's something. Now, awaken the great stone dragon. Awaken the great stone dragon famous. God damn it, Ross. <laughs> Literally, uh, that actually works out very well. Either way, we need to go to the Seaside Cavern once again. I remember that place being a piece of shit, so oh well. In fact, we can actually probably fast travel there. Man, all this fast traveling is just going to get us fucked over once we get to a part of the game where we're just not ready. Mushu. Awaken. Okay. Hmm. Alright, it's not really anything else, because now I'm in the 70s, and so there's not really anything we'll recognize here. I mean, if it was in, like, the stone and the cobbler or something like that. Something old-ass, some Disney movie, maybe. There's some certain things we could recognize. I mean, 1965. We've been going for 32 minutes. What the fuck have we been doing with this episode? Have we really? Yeah. Weirdly long amount of time. Ooh. Another gel seed. Oh, well. Another doll. So he's been yeah. acting since 1955. What's up? Cup of milk. Do you have a Bluetooth keyboard now? Yeah, the school's gonna throw it out. Oh, Dalton. Or Ian, I mean. Yes. This is the, uh, this is the famous scene right here. Oh, yeah! Peach butt tree. The butt peach. Butt peaches. Especially Sherry is. God, I love butt peaches. That oh, shit. Everyone stay on your game! Oh, wait, these are harpies, man. These harpies look scary. Oh, wait, that's not a harpy, but who is that? Unknown. It, it's, it's an unknown. He has a lot more HP than everything else. I wonder what letter he is. Uh, He's Y. He's letter Y. He looks like a Y today. This is a different enemy. Maybe this is something interesting. This guy is a lot more powerful than everything else in front of him. Today. He's slapping me. He's doing a lot of damage. Ow. Wait a minute. It looks like something Richard would have is like oh, There we go. There we go. Getting work done. Burn. That's good. Oh, he actually has the Linder gun. No one can stand my blade. Just totally random. Better get something cool for that. Some like cutscene or something? No? I don't know. I wanna see Whatever. A cartoon where George Takei and Patrick Warburton are voicing together. Patrick Warburton. Isn't that the guy from Kids Next Door? I don't think so. 
Who's the guy that did Kids Next Door? Everyone, I don't know. Patrick Warburton's uh, he's Trump from uh oh that guy yeah, yeah. or Brock Samson in the Adventure Bros. Yeah, that guy's awesome. <laughs> yeah, Joe from Family Guy. His voice is just so unique. Even though he's pretty much the same character in everything he does. Pretty much. But I mean, he has just such such a good voice that you don't mind. <laughs> I guess. It's just totally distracting whenever you hear it, though. But then he, like, plays the character really well. Usually. I remember, there's like this... Oh, there's like this poker game. Or what? Yeah, there's like this virtual poker game. Where it has like a bunch of different famous characters. Rock, you play against Brock Samson. The dealer is Gladys from Portal. Um, it sounds like something childhood. I don't know, it's pretty good. I mean, and they have like the original voice actors for it too. Uh, who's the... I like, there's like a detective dog wearing a suit. What, what is that? I, I think so. And he's teamed up with a rabbit. Thanks. Oh. Use them to protect us all. That's a random reference. I know who you're talking about. All right. No, no, no. That was like a really, really smart <laughs> children's television show on Fox for a while. Okay. All right. There's so you, good to talk about you it. play. You can You play against Brock Sampson. The dog that wears a suit that's also a detective teamed up with a rabbit. Yeah. Uh, you also play against Ash from Evil Dead. This is such a random game. I know. I mean, it's just a poker. You just play poker, but you play against those guys. And they have, like, good voice acting. Okay. Gladys is the dealer. Gladys is the dealer. That's completely random. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's Why not? Hilarious, it's pretty good. Time, it's just like... like, the humor in it is pretty good, too. Because, like, as you play the game, they used to just, like... They have like the weirdest conversations. Everyone's fine. That's what matters. They're like, hey dog. Hey, my name's not dog. Whatever. <laughs> Isn't it like really hot wearing that suit? Oh no. It's actually extremely hot. I actually wanna I wanna see this right now. I, Look at this. I know, I gotta find out what this game is. Um yeah, I'm just gonna be fighting maybe, most of the monsters. Maybe if I search up Patrick Warburton, I'll maybe I'll This find is good it. experience right here. We're finding some uh, good experience. Ooh, more. Oh. Ah, dude. It still says unknown, though. I'm Googling. Right, it still says unknown what the enemies are. This is interesting. This must be because Richard's just spawning shit everywhere. Mine! Instant balls. Holy shit. My turn. Oh, come on. Work. Really, just immediately from ours to theirs. Huh? Die, evil tall. Whatever. I don't know what this one is. Okay. As I was, uh. Yeah, yeah, please look it up. I'm just gonna be running into most of these enemies. Just so you know, Ann. Heads up. <laughs> Thanks. Because we need experience desperately, otherwise we're going to get wrecked in the butt. Ah! Uh, it's like, oh yeah, you can't. Oh, really these do enemies stuff. seem kind of easy, don't you think? Yeah, but they're giving good experience because of these guys that are stuck in between them. Just don't. You, you can't really do the Tales of Symphonia thing where you just like press the A button repeatedly. You have, you have to try. I know. Kind of a but at least it means it's an intuitive combat system. I suppose, you can't double task me. I'm dead! How am I dead? Because these guys do a lot of damage and you have almost no damage. Oh yeah, yeah, how could I forget? How could you forget that? It's actually very simple. I need to blood up. Don't die. That's not me. Sherry's got this in the bag. Like I said, Sherry's a good healer, it's just not very good at healing life. Healing life? She heals bodily wounds. We need to get her a new weapon, honestly. Great job. Uh, you performed reasonably as well. Okay. All right, back to my research. Mm -hmm. Let's find this research. game. What are our titles looking right now? Yeah, I'll look up titles while you do that real fast. All right, so I'm going good. You've got that. Actually, go for this. Um, no. No. I go for that. That'll probably be better. For him, he's got that, yes. For you. Oh, it's just called Poker Night. 
It's just called Poker Night? Yeah, Poker Night. That sounds like something that would have already been taken by now. But I guess it wasn't. Did wait to do we? Is it? Did we revive yet? No, we got recover over here, but... Where's her, where was the one well, like Poker Night going 2 to, getting, to be uh, more specific? Revitalize, right? Oh, yeah, you also play against Claptrap from Borderlands. This sounds ridiculous. Alright, yeah, okay, so there's Max, Claptrap, uh, Reginald Van Winslow. I have no idea who that is. Uh, GLaDOS, Steve, hmm. Fact 4, Sam. I think Sam's the dog. Nice. Uh, Brock Sampson and Ash from Evil Dead. How'd they get all the, like, the likeliness of all these characters that they were allowed to shove them into these games? I don't know. Are they all made by the- No, they're or, not all made by the same people, definitely not. Hmm. That's weird. Ah, oh, it's pretty good. Though. I, I like this game. It sounds pretty good. It sounds hilarious. Mate, you already have the arc, don't you, Sharia? Why am I looking around here when I could just be looking? Yes, you do have resurrection. All right, sweet. All right. Anyway, another battle. I expect the best Hooray. Maybe I'll do like a little video of that. That sounds hilarious. I think we'll like update the video. Oh, or just play the game, I guess. I don't know. I it's just poker, so it's it is. It is just poker, but the conversations are hilarious. In other words, they make a really good uh, update video. Yeah. I guess. But they do need to make one soon, for sure. Look once with awe upon the dual blade warrior, then never look again. I <laughs> was just a little All right. too. Uh, this is a intense. little bit out of character. A little too intense, but oh well. At least he's having fun. But uh, yeah, screenshot of the game. Yeah, that's definitely the dog I was talking about. This is the most ridiculous looking like scene I've ever seen in my life. I mean, well, that's pretty much the entire game. You just sit at a poker table with those characters. And there's a guy from Team Fortress 2 there, too. Oh, I mean, I don't know. That might be something else, then. Maybe there's a first one, and that's the second one. I don't know. That sounds pretty hilarious. It's pretty funny. Chip 2 over there, by the way, Dalton. You just sit there, like, in the background. Ah. Uh, shit for school? Shifty 5. Speaking of which, I found a person on Splatoon with the name Shifty 5. And another person with the name Rule 34. God damn it. Why do you have to sit back in the chair like I don't, that? Dude, this chair just keeps rolling back. <sighs> you guys are gonna break my chair and it's gonna bum me out. Nah. It's really gonna bum me out. Asbel, Lord Hubert, what were you doing in Fendel? What are you doing in Fendel? <laughs> I don't see any Fendel soldiers here. That's because they're gone. Just up and vanished one day without a trace. We uh, you guys don't really sound very concerned for the fact that every single one of a certain city's soldiers just up and vanished. I the yeah, I guess has not. changed. Our countries can't afford to fight each other right now. I just got through. I got eleven emails out. actually. Our countries have come together in an attempt to Price resolve the crisis. I don't know. Actually, I get a lot of emails too, so I really shouldn't say anything. Thank you, you, too. you must let us pass. Ugh, all yes, of them are of ads. Well. And some person's birthday that I don't really know. Mm. On Facebook. Yeah, hey, at least it's better than getting a bunch of stuff that people expect to find. <laughs> and really we old. back. Remember this place, Sam? I don't think you remember this place. The castle. Oh where my we God. spent about like two sessions just running around it, not knowing where to go. Oh my god, how terrible was that? That was pretty bad, but that about wraps up one episode, actually. Alright, sounds good. Uh, so, when we come back next time, we're gonna make our way back to Findle by the side of it. Actually, we need to go to the Seaside Cavern. That's where we were with, like, when we first got Richter, or Richard, to be fucked Richter, in the ass. Richter. And everyone was just destroyed and every all hell just broke loose. All that fun stuff. But, see you guys for that next time. Final thoughts, Dalton. 
Uh, I don't know. 